It's a quick way. It's a quick way. I was wondering if we're going to sing up there. Hathlu e eos te kwaeo, tō huna te te hamai e te sauna chia, te skupa suia. Fash kush chin te silo e te kwaeo. E te kwe kwe, chil kwe le chin squish, a la shishash. Today we are here cedar stripping up the skupa inlet. Good to be here today in our skupa territory. Stripping the cedar bark from our beautiful Scupa Suya today. I'm happy to be here with our language and cultural staff. We also have some students that have, I don't know if they strip cedar before, but we showed them the process. This is the second year that we have done this. Uh, last year we were here cedar stripping in a different area, and the area that they're going to fall is um, we're going to strip the tree. Before, when we strip trees, we only, only used to take about this much of the tree so we don't kill it. And, and now, since the whole tree is going to be fell, we're going to do the same process, uh, except we're going to strip all around the tree. These trees that I'm sitting on now, um, they have been fell a couple days ago, so we're going to take the bark off. And we don't want them to go to waste. We're going to use the bark for traditional purposes. But once we take the bark off the tree, we have to separate this brown outer layer from the inner layer. This is what we use for regalia. This is what's pliable underneath. So it's a two-part process. You strip it from the tree, and then you have to take the bark, the outer bark from the inner bark. And you can see the red in there. The red cedar. Before you strip a cedar, is to always thank it, thank it, touch it, because it is alive and it does feel you. And you can thank it in your mind. Today I'm going to thank it for um, giving me its outer bark. And I'm going to let the tree know that it is going to make something beautiful, something that we're going to wear. And I'm going to offer a gift. The gift is going to be my hair. So I'm just going to grab some of my hair. This hair is so thick. So I'm just going to put that in the bottom. Two hand whips. So we get to the white part. See the white part starting to come through. So now I'm going to go thank it again and touch the inner bark with my bare hand. And it will heal. It will close up. As it gets older, it closes and closes and closes. 
The, the cedar tree is so important to the Seashell people. Um, we use it for transportation. We use the branches for spiritual cleansing. You can even chew the ce cedar bark branches, the new ones, for um, stomach ailments. We use it for um, tools. The inner bark we use for regalia. Um, we use it for bed mats. We use it for headgear like hats. Um, there's numerous, numerous uses of cedar tree, is, um, so that's why it's so important to us. And the purpose for cedar stripping today is to produce, um, so we can produce regalia with it. We're going to make um, capes, leggings, hats, headbands. Um, I work in a museum, so we're gonna, I'm going to put on some courses on how to do all these things. And so I have no bark currently in my office, so we're here today to Cedar Strip. Oh, he's a year, probably a year or two, maybe. Oh, All by himself. Oh.